when the transphobia just comes out the audacity and just the 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 arrogance for cis women to believe that they own periods that they own womanhood you don't okay you don't own periods you don't own womanhood you experience both and both are different for every person but as a cis woman it doesn't belong to you so you can't gatekeep it like hello hello who the f is gonna stand up for us <laughs> stands up for us and us i mean women real women biological women women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were um when does the delusion stop what is the difference between um you and someone who has been um diagnosed to be mentally insane what's the, the only difference is you don't have a straight jacket on stop talking out your wake up how are you projecting your anger on real women? Because we are the gatekeepers. We are the gatekeepers for periods. We're the only one that bleed, honey. We're the only ones that can give birth. We make y'all people. We make y'all. Y'all come from us. You can't be us. You will never. You're chasing something you'll never, ever get. You'll never be that. It's not that at all. So I'm annoyed this is even a conversation. My blood pressure was high just watching this. I am fuming. Being naturally born a woman, me myself, this should not be an argument. This is ridiculous that this is even an argument. This just goes to show you how far gone our society is becoming. For this man, yes, I'm calling you a man. If you were born with a penis, I don't care if you were three years old and you felt like you were a woman. I don't care if you were six years old and you wanted to put on heels, wear your mama's dress, put on makeup, and you decided that you felt like you were a girl. You are not a woman. A woman is somebody who is biologically born with woman's reproductive parts. You know what? when they do an ultrasound? You know when you're in, in the belly of a woman, a natural born woman? Because men cannot have kids, men cannot carry kids. Let me say that. A doctor is gonna look at your organs. It's not a decision. It's not like you come out the womb and it's either A or B. It's a, it's a flip up coin toss. They, they look at your biological parts. They look at you and say, okay, you have a penis. You have a vagina. You are a male. You are a female. This is not, this is not our opinions. This is biological things. This is not how you feel. And for you to say that is so disrespectful because you, as a transgender, you feel disrespected because people like to call you he. I only started um, being really big on my pronouns when I realized people were mis um, gendering me out of disrespect. She, she, he, she, I mean, she, like all this, I'm a woman. You feel disrespected because they aren't using the right pronouns. Imagine how we feel as women, the fact that you call us cis women, I didn't even know what that was, or cisgender, I had to Google that. I didn't even know what that was. It is, it's basically a person who was born biologically a woman and also identifies herself as a woman. It's, it's crazy to me that they're coming up with these different terms. It's like, no, I'm a woman. You as a transgender, you are not a woman. Don't disrespect me who was naturally born a woman and just decide because you woke up one day and you wanted to have boobs, you wanted to get surgery, you wanted to dress up, you wanted to put on a nice wig and you wanted to switch when you walk. That, that makes you a woman now. No, it doesn't. That's, that's very disrespectful. To me, I would feel the same way as you might feel as a black person. I'm assuming you're African-American. What if somebody woke up one day you know, no matter the age, if they're six years old, if they're 60 years old, they woke up one day, they wanted to dressed like a black person they wanted to change their skin tone they wanted to wear their hair in a more textured way and decided okay now i'm black how would you feel about that you will probably feel disrespected you will probably feel like how dare they feel like they can just dress up and physically change their appearance and decide that they're black now just because i was biologically born white just because my parents are both white that's the only difference but i identify as black you would probably feel disrespected by that because you're like, no, you don't understand. You were not born that way. You can't just invite yourself to a certain race or a certain gender because how you feel. This is the issue with society now. 
everybody is so sensitive. Everybody feels like you have to include everybody in everything. And that's just not right. Where, where does it end? Like, where does this stop? Where do we draw the line at? Because apparently making everybody feel good is the end goal, which will never happen. If you were biologically born with a penis, which I never had, and I would never know what that is like, you are different than me. You are a man. Yes, I'm gonna call you a man, and if I know you have a penis, you are a man. If you wanna identify as a transgender, that's fine. If you wanna identify as a trans woman, that's fine. That's what that was created for. Because you transformed yourself. That's what you did. You were not born that way. So yes, there is a difference between you and me. We are not in the same category. It's, it's, it's not the same. So stop trying to put yourself in the same shoes as women. You are not a woman. And if any straight man knew you had a penis, and I mean actual straight man, not the men who identify as straight, really straight men who actually like women will have an issue knowing that you were born a man. You were born out the womb with the penis, you are a man. If you were born out the womb with the vagina, with the reproductive organs, you are a woman. It's that simple. There's no what I feel like. There's no what I identify as. To me, it's just crazy. This is even a conversation. This is even an argument. There's even debates about this. It just talking about this. I don't even know what video I'm finna put behind this. Um, what video what was my last video? This topic had nothing to do with my channel. I wanna watch my latest video. Cardi B giving not so great, in my opinion, advice to women about dating. Go ahead, check out this video right here.